What's up guys, I'm Garfafloff, and today we're going to be doing another Pokemon Live X and Y Wi-Fi battle. So, yeah. Okay, let's go over our team really quickly. We are going to be bringing... Wow, loud snapping noise. <laughs> uh, we're going to be bringing our Iselgore, Frank. Uh, not, not, not Hank, Frank. It's the, it's the first one. Our Choice Scarfed, Primeape. Uh, we are bringing our... Defensive Luxray, we are bringing our Choice Specs, x Cloud. we're bringing our Fletchender, and we're bringing an Assault Vest Cradley. It's the same one as last time, I just threw an Assault Vest on there and replaced Recover with Sludge Wave. Okay, so looking at this team, he's probably going to be bringing Donphan as his lead, so let's go ahead and start out with Wub Wub Wub, because Wub 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 could definitely hurt this thing quite a bit. So, uh, no, I did enter, yes, confirm, okay. So the things I'm really worried about on his team are like Scrafty and his stupid Victini, but other than that, not too much. I have to write down his team, at least the members I can remember, which is three of them. Donphan, Scrafty, and Victini. Actually, no, he also has the uh, dragon thing. Scrafty and Victini, and then what is it called? I always forget this thing's name. Um, at least what, uh, during videos, I always forget his name. I never forget his name otherwise. I'm gonna go for a Focus Blast here, because he's probably gonna, uh, think I'm gonna switch out and go for Dragon Dance. Yep. So, so long as Wubble Wub cannot screw up, we should be perfectly fine here. Let's see what happens. Okay, good, we hit. For a second, I thought we were gonna miss, and I was gonna be like, God. Okay, good. <laughs> Scrafty is down, which is nice. Uh, what was the other thing called? It's called... It's the Bat Thing. I don't know, whatever, we'll just wait till it switches out and see what it's named. He's gonna go out and do his Victini now. I actually definitely have to switch out here. He's probably gonna go for a V-Create, which is not inherently good, but we can go out into our Luxray, because Luxray is, has Intimidate as well as it's defensive, so we can take V-Creates. I think we can end up taking three V-Creates, which is actually really good for a Luxray who doesn't have super great defenses. So, he's gonna go for the V-Create, and we should be... Definitely, we should definitely be fine here. We, we don't really have anything to worry about from this thing. Eh, there. Okay. So that ended up doing how much? It, it, it's not showing me the. Oh wow, that is a banded Victini, which is great news because that means he is not Scarf. Scarf Victini is completely and utterly horrible to deal with. Uh, <laughs> I, we could bluff being max speed, see if he switches out. Okay, yes, he is gonna switch out here. I'm not, oh, never mind, he's gonna go out into Dawn Fan, obviously. Why would he go out into anything else? Mer. Yeah. And that's not gonna affect him, which is, <laughs> eh, it's unfortunate, but whatever. So, now we definitely have to switch out here, because we don't want to take an Earthquake with that thing. That'd be sort of a bad, actually, no, I'm gonna sack this thing off, I think. Because I do have HP Ice, I could get off some damage on it. I'm, I'm debating whether to go for the HP Ice and just sack this thing off, or go out into a Selgor. I think, never mind, I'm gonna go out into a Selgor. A Selgor, it, uh, will we'll resist it, so we'll be fine. As well as if he sets up Stealth Rocks, that's not too difficult. So, one second, my family's talking, I'll be back when they're done talking. Okay, so yeah, if you didn't catch that, he ended up going for the Stealth Rocks, which is fine. Now we can go for a Giga Drain on this thing, which will knock it down to its Sash, which is fine. He's gonna go for the Ice Shard, that doesn't matter, all he accomplished by doing that was he got off a little bit of damage and quote-unquote broke my break, broke my Sash, that's what I'm trying to say. But after the Giga Drain, I get all my health back anyways. That means he is, no wait, I was gonna say that means he's Assault Vest based on how much damage that did, but no, that wouldn't make any sense. He's not Assault Vest if he just set up Stealth Rocks. I'm stupid. Okay, so he's gonna switch out here, that's fine. Let's see what he goes out into. He's gonna go out into Victini. We actually outspeed Victini, which is kind of funny. Plus, we're at max HP, so we can always take one V-Create. Pretty sure two Bug Buses will end up killing him as well. And we can't really get up... We can't end up getting any free switch-ins because of the Stealth Rocks. Because our... And by free, I mean, uh... We, we will never have our Focus Sash again after this. So we're just gonna go for V-Creates on this thing. So, he's gonna go for the V-Create. Hopefully, min-max damage will kick in. Wow, V-Creates animation is powerful. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to hang on with our Focus Sash. He is going to lose his Speed Defense and Special Defense. Okay, so that means we're guaranteed the kill this turn if he stays in. The, oh, Noivern, that's what it's called. Wow, I just remembered now. Okay, Noivern. If he switches into his Noivern, I, I won't even be upset. 
because we always have our scarfed primate to deal with it. No, he's gonna go out into P2, that's fine. He's gonna trace our hydration. I don't really care what ability this thing has, because it already has so much speed that Unburden really isn't helpful. So, yeah, that's gonna end up doing nothing. Might as well get up a layer of spikes so Victini takes some more damage when it switches in. I don't know. He's probably gonna go for just, like, a try attack or something. Maybe a recover. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna go for Ice Beam. That's fine. Uh, so, P2. That's one of his other Pokemon I tried that down. Porygon 2. So we have one more left that we don't know about as of now. I'm debating whether I should go into my Primeape or whether I should go into... No. I'm gonna go out into my x Blob because... This thing's not going to enjoy a Boom Burst very much. Plus, he's probably going to expect me to go for the Focus Blast again, seeing this as this thing's weak to Focus Blast as well. But, nope, I'm going to go straight for a Boom Burst. So, if he switches out, we will be fine. He's probably going to go out into, like, Victini, trying to resist it. He also might go out into Noivern. He is going to switch out. Uh, what's he going to go out into? He's going to go out into his Dawn Fan. That's a dead Dawn Fan. Bye-bye, Dawn Fan! Marr. That thing's so dead, especially after the spikes. It's definitely dead. Oh, God. Yeah, there's no way it's living that. Okay, bye-bye, Dawn Fan. So, let's see what he goes out into next. I'm predicting probably the Victini, but I'm pretty sure we can live one V-Create. I mean whatever as well as he gets spikes damage so even if he if we even if we don't leave the v create we can just go out directly out in a primate and then kill him from there so let's just go for another boom burst we obviously have to with respects i think we can live it i mean we have quite a bit of hp i'm not invested in defense or anything because that'd be kind of strange but no we cannot live it uh <laughs> i actually run my last four evs and you if you're wondering in speed so that i can outspeed other x clouds mainly because a boom burst does one hit ko in x cloud so we're gonna go out into prime egg now he might just think we're so uh he might just think we're switching into this thing because of the speed drop uh which would actually make sense but well, i don't know i think i want to go for a u-turn here because this thing doesn't resist u-turn because it's fire and psychic so we should be able to kill with a u-turn as well as he's probably gonna switch out anyways so not much to, uh, yeah, there we go. So this way we get switch and ship him. He's gonna go out into Noivern, that's perfectly fine. Obviously I didn't want to go for an Earthquake there because he was most likely gonna do this in any case scenario. So, that is gonna do a whopping zero damage, and we're gonna switch out. Uh, it's a shame we can't just go directly back out into Prime Ape and then go for the Stone Edge, but that would be sort of ridiculous. We're going to go out into Cradley now, because Cradley has Ancient Power, and Ancient Power will probably kill this thing, because Noivern is very, very frail. He's got that nice, shiny Noivern. I don't actually like shiny Noivern a lot, despite green being my favorite color. It's sort of like an ugly green. Like, Cradley's pretty much the same color, the same, same shade of green, but, like, it looks weird on Crobat's design, is essentially what I'm trying to say. He's going to go for a Focus Blast. We are AV, so I know we're going to take at least one. Yeah, we don't take it super great, but if we get the uh, if we get the boost here from Ancient Power, then we'll probably kill, or we'll we'll not probably kill. We'll probably be able to live another one. Okay, we don't kill, uh, and we don't get the defense, or we don't get the everything boost, which is a shame. But we can always go out into Fletchender and then uh, go for the. We can always go out into Fletchender and go for the acrobatics because we have priority on that. So that's gonna kill our Cradley. That's fine. At this point, despite me being down by two Pokemon, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I still have the upper hand here. Oh, he's going to die from life orb damage anyways. So that means we do not have to risk our acrobatics on our thing. Yeah. Let's go out into Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson can always just go for a U-turn and get switch initiative. So yeah. Or not initiative, really. But he can always get just switch damage. So yay. Anyways, he's going to go out and do his Manectric. I'm going to have to do a damage calcul here because I'm pretty sure after the Intimidate we will not kill. But let's go ahead and check. I will be right back, guys. Okay, so I did the damage calc and there is absolutely zero way we can win this. We have to... Oh, wait, no. I'm not sure if Stealth Rocks is included. I will be right back when, once again. Sorry, guys. Oh, wait, no, I can't. We. Ha I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. Whatever. Uh, I realized we had five seconds left on the timer and that's kind of an issue. So after the Stealth Rocks damage, if we get the highest damage roll possible, we might be able to. Um, I'm not sure though. I certainly hope we can because I'm pretty sure Stealth Rocks takes away 12% I know it said at most we can do 90. On oh, I forgot about Defiant. Oh my god That means this Manectric is definitely dead. He okay. He's gonna go for the Protect. That's fine uh, Noivern's dead 
I don't think he has any switches into this unless he has two flying types. And if he has two flying types, that's not going to be good. Or anything with levitate. Uh, I certainly have, hope he has neither of those. Okay, he's just going to stay and sack this thing off. And plus one, we're definitely going to kill. I so forgot we had Defiant. I was going to be like, oh god, I'm not sure if we can kill after the Stealth Rocks damage. We probably can, but I'm not sure. And we definitely can kill after that, so that's good. That means his Manectric is down. And at plus one, I kind of want to stay in on this P2, but I'm not sure. He's going to trace Defiant, which isn't threatening. P2 is not a physical attacker. Um... I don't know. I kind of want to just stay in. I'm going to do another damage calc. I know this is this kind of takes all the fun away, away from the, like, the suspense and stuff, but I just want to make sure that I don't end up losing because of a stupid mistake. So I'll be right back, guys. Glad I did the damage calc on this. We end up doing about 30% from, from, from an earthquake. I'd really rather change that because that's not quite a, a, a good damage amount in my opinion. Plus, I'm pretty sure a, so what's it called, a tri-attack would kill us from there. So, we're going to get the Intimidate off. Like I said, does not matter. He's going to get the Defiant boost, which is actually pretty funny. <laughs> so, he's gonna go, just going to go for the tri-attack. That is fine. We can always just go into our good old friend, Primeape, and go for the close combat. Plus, after the spikes damage, I'm pretty sure it'll even kill Victini. And if not, I know two will, and we definitely outspeed. So, I'm pretty sure we win from here. Although, not, not, now is not the time to get greedy, so <laughs> let's just hope that we do. Uh, let's see how much this close combat does. It's going to do... It doesn't kill. Oh, God. I hope he went for a recover or something. Uh, I mean, we do still have... Okay, he did go for a recover. We won. We won. Um, I was going to say, I mean, we do still have our Fletchender in the wing, so we can always just priority acrobatics everything, but whatever. Now, he's most likely going to switch out into Victini. Nope, he's just going to stay in and take the close combat like a man. It's a shame he didn't go for the tri-attack there, because I'm pretty sure that would have that, that might have won in the game. I'm not sure. At that low of HP, we obviously would have killed with an acrobatics, but I'm not sure if we would have killed Victini, because I can't remember how low of HP that that thing's at. So we're going to go ahead and have to see here. It's a shame Victini doesn't have Intimidate. If it had Intimidate, that would just be the greatest thing ever. Okay, it's a low enough HP where even if this close combat somehow doesn't kill, then we're definitely going to go ahead and kill with our Fletcher. So this was actually a pretty close battle. Pl Primate coming in clutch, though, because Primate is uh, Primate for base god. <laughs> yeah. I know I said I'd have some new Pokemon this weekend. I was working on one in the middle of this, but then I realized how late it already was. And I was like, oh god, I better get... <laughs> I I better get an episode up. So, yeah, I will have one by the next episode because I finished breeding it as soon as we were done with it. I just didn't have time to directly finish it. So, yeah, I still need to EV train it and evolve it. You guys will see what it is. No spoilers yet, though. <laughs> so, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like down below. I will see you guys next time. Bye.